and gentlemen all across Australia, please welcome Dr. Chris Brown, my favourite celebrity. Oh, hello. Good morning, Hi, everyone. Chris Brown. Good morning, Patty. Good morning, Jim. Hello, Tim. Dr. Chris Brown. Good morning. <laughs> How are you, Abby? I'm so excited, Dr. Chris Brown. You're excited. I reckon I'm more excited. One of my favourites is the episode where uh, someone brought in a little kitten that had been uh, oh, rescued. Oh, yes. that was so cute. Yeah, and the little kitten uh, was found on a cricket oval with oh just gosh. with nothing but a couple of toys in the box. And I uh, found out that the kitten had a broken leg. We fixed the broken oh. leg. And then there was no one to adopt the kitten. So I took the kitten home. <gasps> and that kitten is my cat now. Oh, hello, Cricket. <laughs> How are you happy. today? I Cricket doesn't get into mischief, Dr. Chris Brown. She's because if she mischief. jumps on, if she jumps on, the kitchen table, but like my cat does, she's naughty. She jumped on the kitchen table. Guys, people are suggesting on Facebook that maybe Whiskers and Cricket should have a play date. Yes. Ooh. Whiskers should have a play date with Cricket. We got a new kitten, Tootsie, and we've got a bird that comes out and she likes to try and attack him. And I was wondering how we could stop that. Thanks, Dr. Chris. I think probably the, the first thing um, that uh, Putsy needs to understand, assuming Putsy the, the cat, right? The yep. kitten. So Putsy needs to understand that this bird um, is a very special bird. And so he needs to understand that if she goes near the bird, then maybe she should be strongly discouraged, just like Abby said, with like a very firm no. Um, but sometimes you can get, you know, like a little water mist uh, bottle. And if you just spray a little bit of mist um, in their direction when the, when um, Tootsie's going near the bird, that will help. I was just wondering if you have a recommendation for a therapy dog. I love your show. Thank you. I, I think probably the, the first thing to do would be to try to think about a breed that you would like. And, and certainly the breeds that are really good therapy dogs are very gentle, are very patient. Um, uh, are pretty pretty chill, pretty relaxed. So you know, dogs like Labradors, Golden Retrievers, little Beagles, um, little Cavoodles uh, are often very good. But really, any dog can become a therapy dog if, if it uh, if it has the right uh, level of, of patience and, and understanding. And the amazing crazy cat dance that he does, it goes for 10 seconds, he starts by meowing, then he starts purring, and then it ends with him licking himself, cleaning himself like all cats do. So if you are lucky, he might show you how to do the crazy cat dance right now, and I'd love to see both of you doing it together. And so would Coco, wouldn't you Coco? Just look at the joy it's bringing her. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. You do that? Then we go meow. Meow. And then we do this. Ready? Two there. Two there. Then we go here. And then we pat. And then we scratch here. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Chris Brown, for all the work that you do at Bondi. That's I wish you a happy June holidays. Uh, Abby, thank you so, so much. That's so lovely of you. Um, and thank you for your question. <laughs> it's obvious how much you love animals and I really love to see that. Yeah. And I'm really, and so thank you and um, and stay well. And uh, it's, yeah. this has been a lot of fun for me. Yeah. Thank you. You're, you're amazing. You're, you're amazing. Awesome. Well, well done, guys. Thank you so much, Dr. Chris Brown yeah. and Abby. Well done. Have a great day, everyone, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.